Okay, a short video just to go over a couple of examples for what we do once we've found our Fourier coefficients a n and b n. How do we go about putting it into the Fourier series? So we have this example number one here, and we found a n and b n, and of course a naught. So we can now write out our Fourier series. So we would say, or we would write the Fourier series associated with f of x, if that's our function, would be, then we can start off with a naught, so we could have pi over 3, and then we need to go on to a n. Now a n is odd n only. So how do we cope with odd n only? Well, that 4 and the pi squared, that can come outside our sigma notation. And we can start off with something like this. So we'll make it efficient by bringing the constant coefficients outside. Now I, when I want to write my 1 over n inside sigma, I have to make sure I have some way of coping with the fact that I don't want all the n terms. I want n for 1, 3, 5, etc., but not 2, 4, 6, 8. So odd n only, I replace the n's inside sigma with 2n minus 1. Now of course a n is just the coefficient in front of the cosine term. So I'm very tempted now to write cosine of nx and it appears if I finish. But of course, if I have nx, then I'll get n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. inside sigma. And I only want odd n only. So I have 2n minus 1 instead of nx, like so. Okay, for bn, well bn, if you look, you can see that it is the alternating sign option. It's either plus 3 over n squared pi squared or minus 3 over n squared pi squared. So again, how are we going to cope with that? Well, the plus 3 over pi squared, that can come outside the sigma notation, just as we saw for a n. just makes it more efficient. And I'm left with plus and minus 1 over n squared. Well, I can put in n squared here in my denominator because I want all the terms. I want n when it's 1, 2, 3, etc. So I now need some way of dealing with the alternating signs. Now the rule for the alternating signs is as follows. It will be minus 1 to the n or minus 1 to the n plus 1. This first option here will give me minus, plus, minus, plus. Whereas this option will give me plus, minus, plus, minus. Why? Because when we start our sigma notation, we always start with n equal to 1. And in this case here, if I start with 1 and I add 1, I get minus 1 squared, which is a plus. And then I get minus 1 cubed, which is a negative 1. So we need to know which one to start with. So what do we do? Well, let's just remind ourselves that when we start the sigma notation, we start with n equal to 1 which of course 1 is an odd number. So we need to have a look at our odd terms and see do we want positive or negative. And of course we want a positive for our first odd term. So we need it to go plus minus. So we need minus 1 to the n plus 1. So we need this option. And then of course this is just a coefficient of our sine term. So we can now put in our sine function. And we want all of those, so it would just be sine nx. And that's it. That's the Fourier series for example number one. OK, let's have a, another go. Example two. Now, in example two, we see that a naught is a half, so we can start with that. So the Fourier series associated with f of t or f of x or whatever it is, we'll finding the series 4, I can start off with a half, and now I'm going to go to a n, my coefficient of my cosine term. Well, the 3 pi, that can come outside, so plus 3 pi. Then I'd start my sigma notation, and I need to go 1 over n squared. So I'm very tempted to write 1 over n squared, but of course that will give me all the n terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., and I only want the even. So how do we get even n only? Well, we just replace n with 2n. So instead of n squared, it would be 2n squared. 
and that's my coefficient. So I now need to write my cosine terms. So in this case, the period is 4. So all the way through this example, if I was showing the workings, we would have cosine of 2 n pi x over 4. That would be my capital T, the 4. And of course, that would tidy to give me cosine of n pi x over 2. Now, in this particular case, for this example number 2, what do I need? I need even n only. So this n here will get replaced with a 2n. So what I will get will be cosine of 2n pi x over 2. And you can see, of course, in this particular case, those 2s will cancel. So we shall have cosine of n pi x. OK, and if we look at bn, well, bn, we just have odd n only. So again, the minus 3, the over pi, that can come outside. And then we have our second sigma notation. And I need to deal with, what, 1 over n squared. But I want this for odd n only. So instead of 1 over n squared, I have 2n minus 1 squared. And now I can do my sine term. Now my sine term is going to look something similar to this. Because my period, my capital T, is 4. So the 2 on the top would cancel with the 4 to give me n pi x over 2. But this time, I only want odd n. So I have 2n minus 1 pi x over 2. And there we have it. So that's my Fourier series for example 2.